Hey guys, this is Balu and today in this tutorial, I will show how we can create this kind of animation videos in Blender using fluid simulations easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful and without any further ado, let's start today's video. So here I'm using Blender 3.6.5. So first let's clear this default and by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So here I will be using Blender Kit to get the models. Blender Kit is free to download. So here I will search as water tap. So here we got the model. So from here I will select this model here. Just click on the image. It will be loaded here. So here we got our model. So now let's add some base here. So go to this add mesh select a cube. So press S X and increase the scale in X axis. And S Y increase the scale in Y axis. Let me place this here. So I think this is good. So now let's model the glass. So go to this add mesh select a cylinder here. So let's place this, press S and increase the scaling and S, Z and increase the scaling. So I think this is fine. Now press tab key. Now hold alt key and select the vertex here. Make sure this vertex mode is selected and hold alt key and click on this vertex to select all the vertices. Now press S and reduce the scaling here a bit. Now change this to face selection. Now select this face, press E, S and extrude it inwards. Now again press E, Z and bring it downwards like this. So I think this much is fine. Now press S and reduce the scaling once again. So let's bring this extra vision and let's drop it here a bit. Okay, so press S and reduce the scale. Okay. So now let's move back to the solid viewport. Press tab key to exit this edit mode. So here we got the glass. So now let's apply the scaling. So go to this object, apply, apply scale. Now let's add subdivision surface onto this. So select the object, come to this modifier options, add modifier and add subdivision surface. Now press tab key for edit mode, control R and add a loop cut here. And again, control R and add a loop cut here. So now we got our glass. So let's increase the viewport level to two. And I think this is fine. And inside also, if you want to add loop cut, we can do that. So control R and add a loop cut here so that we get this smooth edge. Now select this cube, press tab key for edit mode, control R and add a loop cut here. And let's select this face, press E and extrude this here like this. So here we got our scene ready. So now let's move on to this fluid simulation part. So let's start this by USB. So go to this add mesh select USB here. So here we got that USB here, right. So here I have made the scene bigger in order to get this fluid simulation work properly. Now let's place this just below to this tab here. So I think I will place this here. So here I have placed this USB here inside this tab. So now being selected this USB here, come to this object options, quick effects and select this quick liquid. So now we got a box created around that sphere. So this is domain. So basically the simulation takes place inside this domain only. So now we need to scale this domain so as to make it fit the scene. So now being selected this domain, press S and increase the scaling. So now I have scaled up this domain so as to make the scene fit into the domain. Okay. So now being selected this domain, come to this physics property. So domain type, let it be liquid. So resolution, I will change this to 64. So here one thing is important. So at this corner, you can see this box size. Right? This is called box size. Right? So for liquid simulations, this box size should be small when compared to the object that is emitting liquid. So here this UV sphere will be the emitting object, right? So this should be larger when compared to box size. Or else our liquid simulation will not be work properly. So make sure this box size is less compared to the object that is emitting liquid. So now being selected this domain, scroll down and enable this mesh option. So now we need to select a folder where we can save the catchy data. So I will select a folder here. So here I have selected a folder to save this data. So simulation, I will change this to 500 frames. Okay. And timeline also, I will change this to 500. So I think these settings are enough for domain. Now let's select this UV sphere, which is our source to emit the liquid. So type, let it be flow. Flow type, let it be liquid. And here, flow behavior, I will change this to inflow. So here, I don't want this liquid to be falling down from the starting frame only. Here, I will add a small animation like rotating this knob. And after that only, I need to have that liquid. So for that reason, let's move on to this 8D frames or else let's move on to 68 frame. First, disable this use flow option and add a keyframe. Now move one frame forward. Now enable this use flow option and add a keyframe. 
So now let's move forward in timeline like 300 frames and add a keyframe. Now move one frame forward. Now disable this use flow option and add a keyframe. So this means from 0 to 60 we will not get any liquid getting from this pier. After 60 frames only the liquid starts to flow from the source and after 300 frames it stops once again. So now let's select this glass, apply fluid onto the glass. So type change it to effector and sampling I will change this to 30. So now once these settings are done now again select this domain. So select the liquid domain scroll down we need to bake this simulation. So in order to get that bake option we need to change this type. So type I will change this to all and here we can resume the bake at any time if you want. So I will enable this option and let's bake this simulation. So click on this bake all button. So here the bake is done and now let's check the simulation. So let's move on to the solid viewport. So now if I play this. So here you can see we got the domain at the starting frame right. So till 60 frames we will have this domain visible after that we won't get that because we have set the keyframes for that water flow right. So in order to hide this out we can add a keyframe for this render output here. So let's move on to the 60 frame. So if I move to 61 frame. So let's move one frame forward. So now you can see we are not getting that domain. So let's add a keyframe here. So till 60 frames that will be visible. So come to the 60 frame. Disable this in render and add a keyframe by pressing I on the keyboard. Now move one frame forward and after that make this visible in render. So enable this and press I on the keyboard. So now that domain will not be visible in render. So now we got our liquid simulation. So if you want to make this fluid overflow through this glass, we can do that also. So for that, let's select this sphere and just increase the keyframe value. Okay. Just select this last keyframes and increase the keyframe value. So I will leave that inflow till 800 frames. After that, it will stop. So now let's select this to my and we need to bake this once again. So for example, if the fluid spills out of the glass, it should interact with base also. So for this also, we need to apply the fluid property. So select the base, apply fluid property and for this change it to effector and sampling. I will give this as 10. Okay. So now let's bake this once again. So select this to my scroll down and bake all. So here the bake is done and now let's add some animation for this knob. So till 60 frames, we don't want this knob to be operating. So I think let's operate this at 64 frame. So select the knob, press I and add a keyframe for rotation. So now move few frames forward in timeline and I think this much is fine. Now let's rotate the knob here a bit. Now press I and add a keyframe for rotation. So now we will have the animation and also the water will be falling into the glass. So now let's close this. So I think the simulation will be ending at 800 frame. So be at this frame. Press I on the keyboard. Add a keyframe for rotation. Now move forward. Like I think this much is fine. Now let's close this here. Bring the knob here. Press I and add a keyframe. So here you can see this liquid is getting out of this glass right. So in order to avoid this we need to increase the subsampling steps or else we can increase the resolution here. So here for domain the current resolution is only 64 right. Increase the resolution and this stops penetrating through the glass. So after that just apply materials onto this glass liquid and the rest of the things and render the scene out. So in this way we can create this kind of water simulations in blender easily. So hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. If you have learned anything new, please like, share and subscribe my channel to support me. So we'll meet in the next video. Until then signing off. Take care. Bye.